All right, guys, so I had my appointment with Dr. Pledger today. I'm gonna talk about it while it's fresh on my mind. As I mentioned, I got a second opinion from Dr. Kirk Moore yesterday, and I vlogged about that. Um, today I saw Dr. Pledger. Um, he wanted me to wait till I was two months post off before we made a decision on anything that we did, so that's what the appointment was for today. So yeah, as of right now, I'm pretty much 100% leaning towards Dr. Pleasure. Um, just when it comes to skills and experience, pleasure just takes the cake with that. And the reason why I'm getting all of these second opinions, like I had mentioned, is just that I just want to be 100% confident in my decision with going back with pleasure, that I know what I'm doing, that, you know, I don't, that's just basically why I'm getting all these second opinions. I don't want to go back with pleasure and have these what ifs, like should I have done a lift? Should I have done this? Should I have done that? So that's why I'm getting all these second opinions. And depending on how today went, if I didn't like his plan of action, I was gonna go with a different surgeon. So um, anyway, I'll just let you know how today went and what we um, decided on. Basically what's going on um, now that I'm pretty much 100% healed and he can see what's going on. He said that I'm not bottoming out. Bottoming out is when the implant has moved and slipped down in the muscle. Usually it's surgeon error that the pocket was made too big. Um, he said that that's not what's going on though. Um, maybe I'll insert a picture of like the definition of bottoming out as well as like a picture. He said um, with bottoming out, usually from the nipple down, it looks very stretched. And that's how you can tell if it's bottoming out. He said what's happening is I'm getting implantosis, implantosis, implantinopatosis, I don't know, implant something. Basically what that means is just that my body just has really sucky skin and elasticity, which we already knew that, so hence my tummy tuck. Basically, my body just didn't form the scarring that it should have fast enough to support the implant. So basically all that happened is the implant has just settled and stretched that muscle there too much and at the bottom, I guess is the way to explain it. Um, and that's why I'm getting that bottomed out look slash double bubble look etc i told him about what kirkmore said what kirkmore suggested and i told him you know about how kirkmore measured me and yes. said that i had the 16 centimeter space and that the 300 cc implant only gave me the like a 10 or 12 centimeter spot he said that basically he doesn't he lets the ladies pick their implant he doesn't measure them anymore because if they don't like the outcome, then they blame the surgeon. Because the surgeon's the one who suggested the size, da, 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 da. And it, it makes sense. This is where the experience <laughs> comes into play. When I talk with him, like, I can get all worked up and upset about what happened. But then when I sit and talk with him, I'm like, all right, Pledger, you got it all together, man. You know what you're doing. So, <laughs> and he's so sweet about it, too. He's so educated and sweet. And that when he talks, you're just like, cool. All right. All right, man. Like he could tell you that you were basically born a baboon and evolved into this whatever and you'd be like all right pledger like i feel you i feel you on that <laughs> oh yeah he suggested against the textured implants he said that basically plastic surgery is a revolving door in the 90s they always did um saline and then in the whatever year they converted to silicone and that's when they were having all the problems with silicone leaking and things like that and the fda wasn't approved on the silicone whatever and now silicone's approved so saline's going back out the door and silicone's coming back in and i guess textured implants are a thing of the past and that all of these new surgeons are wanting to do the textured again and da 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 and he basically with his experience and skills he said that he will not do textured because he's just had so many bad experiences with them flipping and turning and whatever else they're more common for that and that the body forms more because of that textured whatever is your body just like builds up fluid because it's trying to like adhere basically to that and um, he also said there's more chance of infection because of all the divots and crevices in the textured implants so anyway he just he's so educated and smart and 
Anyway, long story short, basically what he's going to do, he's going to go in, tighten up the pocket, and the way he's going to do, do that is he's going to put in some permanent stitches. He said it's going to be more painful than the first initial surgery because it's going to be so close to my rib cage. It won't be attached to my rib, rib cage, I specified that. It's just going to tighten up that pocket. Um, anyway, so we're probably not going to do the internal hammock thing where he is tightening up the pocket with permanent stitches. That should be good enough. And we're going to go in with the bigger implant and that should help as well. Having the diameter filled in, that space filled in basically. So on my surgeon's part, it's free. The surgery center and anesthesia is discounted where it's within the six months, which is good. I do have to pay for the implants again, which sucks, but the lady did say she's gonna talk to the company and see if we can get some sort of discount or a gifted implant type deal. So the fact that we're gonna be looking into that makes me feel better. And yeah, so as of right now, I'm really I'm leaning towards pleasure. He just, he knows what he's doing, he's smart. What happened sucks, but it wasn't necessarily his fault. He has 30 years of experience. He said, Experience comes from poor judgment and, or wait, yeah, experience comes from poor judgment and poor judgment. I'm butchering this. It's it, so good it, see, this is what he's saying. He talks to you, you're just like, all right, pleasure. You know what you're talking about. And then he just, he sounds so majestic when he talks. And I'm just like, you know what you're doing, bro. And then we walk out and try to repeat what he says. And I'm just like, I don't even know what I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. So. That's all, I don't want this to be too long. I do have two more appointments on Thursday. I will let you know how those go. Um, anyway, he's just such a good guy. He's so sweet. He really, he's not about the money. He will he'll flat out say like, I will not suggest that because I feel like I'd be taking advantage of your money, things like that. So he's just, he's so sweet. And so of course, well, and he's doing this for free. So. Yeah, and he's doing this for free. And he technically doesn't even need to because it wasn't surgeon error. So that's all. I will update you guys how it goes on Thursday. And um, yeah, over and out. Hey guys, while I'm thinking of it, I totally forgot um, something that um, Dr. Pledger said yesterday. So I told you that his plan was to tighten up the pocket there with permanent stitching to avoid the implant from... Um, dropping too soon because that's basically what happened my body didn't scar fast enough and it dropped too soon so it dropped and like fluffed basically down underneath my crease which isn't good either way but um, that's kind of why it happened so he's gonna go in and reinforce that with permanent stitching but also what he mentioned what he's gonna do he said he's going to basically like cauterize and burn the area <laughs> sounds rough and he said it won't be painful as far as recovery um, it'll be the stitching that is more painful. Basically, the reason why he's doing that is just to reinforce the scarring, to make sure my body scars well. Yeah, which is kind of cool. He has a good plan of action. And yeah, I'm sure post-op I'm going to have to have pretty heavy-duty bras as well to keep my breasts up while just to give my body time to scar, if that makes sense. So yeah, but I'll update you guys as far as what the two surgeons say tomorrow. Yeah.